this card fits in an envelope and pops up and it stands up on its own but check out this shadow box it's kind of has a window peeking in there that you could put any um image inside of there Hello everyone, welcome to sunnydaystamping.com. I'm Julie Baca, I am so glad that you're here. I have so many tips to show you how to make this card. It looks complicated because it's so impressive, but you know I'm gonna break it down into some easy steps to follow. I want you to make these at home. So um, there is a link in the description of this video that will take you over to a blog post after, after you get done watching the video. Um, and so you'll be able to see all the additional photos there to kind of help you um, make the cards. I list all the measurements right there. And um, you can also purchase this, these supplies if you want, but this, uh, layout you're going to be able to use with a lot of things that you already have. So let's get started. Now when you're designing your card, you're gonna need some kind of circle or square to cut out the window. I'm gonna be using the Stylus Shapes dies. Um, I love the stitching on these dies, and I also wanted to use the banners um, for the, the greeting on the front. Now you can put anything inside that window. You can even put a picture in there. I think that would be so cool. But I'm gonna show you how I used the Under the Moon set. I wanted kind of some nautical looking cards that would be great for anyone all ages all genders whatever and you can see that this under the moon doesn't come with any um, words so you can dig through your other stamp sets to find words for the greetings for the front and for the back um, but I'm gonna use the simply said these have just some classic things that everybody needs to say thank you happy birthday let's celebrate those kind of things um, this is an all-around great classic one to have on hand to pair with any stamp set that doesn't have any words. Now normally you guys know I love to get my stamping done first but I've got a tip for how to center up that image without having to be fussy about um, lining everything up. So um, let me show you how to do that but we need to start with the card base. Now we have six lines to score on here. Um, so I like to use my scoreboard because you can just very quickly make a lot of lines. Now all the measurements for this uh, project are, are on my website, sunnydaystamping.com, and there's a link in the description that'll take you right there. You'll get all the measurements. This project sheet goes out to my email subscribers on Friday morning, and if you missed it, um, you can pick it up in my tutorial store. I like to put my project sheets in page protectors sometimes because when I go to pick up my uh, work surface, um, I don't throw it away because it feels like not like paper, and so I can also quickly identify it when there is a mess of things all over the place. So, oh no, I did not do this right because I can't talk and do other things at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna score this at a half an inch, one inch, and one and a half inches. And then you're gonna come down here and do five and three quarters, six and a quarter, and six and three quarters. All those measurements are on my website. So now this panel here, from this score line to here, this is the front of the card, and this is the back of the card, or the inside also. That's just important to know for this next step. So we're gonna decorate the front of the card that the hole's gonna be cut out with. We're gonna decorate it with some clouds. There are two different clouds that come in this set. And I'm using balmy blue cardstock, so I'm gonna use balmy blue ink. Um, it's just gonna give a lighter tone to that, um, that color. And I'm gonna stamp full and then move this, the cloud a little bit and stamp again. And um, it doesn't matter if you go all the way over here, but I kind of liked how it looked as I was testing this to have some clouds on these score lines here because when you go to fold it, the clouds are kind of like in there. It looks pretty cool. This is always, the, <laughs> it's always so hard to be random. I like think about it way too much. Okay, now we'll grab this other one. I love these. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking at the same time. Okay, so here is a tip. So when you go to stamp, if you're gonna stamp your first image off your paper like that, you can't go and stamp this again, and I'll show you why. Like if I were to stamp this on my paper again, there would be that harsh line where this part was not on my card, so the ink didn't get absorb absorbed. So just be cognizant of that if you are ever like stamping one generation and then the second generation stamp lighter. 
Okay, so this looks kind of like a mess, but it looks so good. Um, the different tones of color in here are from this um, stamp. It's kind of, I think they call it distinctive. <laughs> I think this is a distinctive one um, where there are um, deeper um, recesses that have more ink in them. It just gives you like a lot of texture, but with just one stamp. All right, before I put that away, I am gonna go ahead and decorate my envelope. I'm gonna just put a piece of, another piece of scrap paper down. You can see this is how big these grid papers are. I love them. And then I just cut them small for um, using on camera. And then I just use them over and over. So we're just gonna take that um, cloud and we're just gonna stamp it again and again, just on the envelope flap. I think it's going to turn out really cool. You know what? I think we need another cloud. Too much of the same kind of cloud. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks awesome. So now for this card, we're going to use the largest circle. I have another example to show you at the end where I use the second uh, largest. And you're going to center it up on, on this panel. Now, if it's hard for you to see, um, which it is hard for me to see all the time, fold along some of these score lines. What you really need is that first one because that's this is the front of the card and then you're gonna be able to figure out where you want that circle. You kind of want, you don't really want it in the center. You want it kind of up from the center and make sure that it's equal on both sides like that. Now you're just gonna run that through your cut and emboss machine. It's gonna cut a perfect circle with that beautiful stitching along the edge. Isn't that so awesome? Now, while we've got the machine out, go ahead and cut a large banner and then the one that fits inside it um, out of an accent color and then white to stamp your greeting. I am gonna show you, um, I would never have uh, run it through the machine like that only on camera, but I'm like, wait, why am I doing it different than when I do it? Um, when I'm just card making myself. I like, if you have a die that is small, put it along the edges of your mat. It's gonna make it last longer. The center of your mat, you know, if you have a large die, it, it is always gonna be in the center. So as much as possible, run things along the edges. Um, it's gonna make these plates last longer. Now these place, plates last forever anyway. Well, not forever. They do end up being consumable and need to be replaced. Um, and you need you know that when it is warped, but mine is not warped, but look how messed up it is. I've had this for probably two years now. Um, anyway, but that is one tip to make them last longer. The other thing I do is make sure I flip this this way, flip it around this way so that when it does bend, it's getting bent the other way when I flip it over. Okay, so we've got the circle cut out of our card base. We've got this for the, um, for the front. Now let's do the inside. You're gonna need two pieces of white, one for the inside and then one for the back, which is optional, but um, there is no place to write on this card. So putting one on the back is helpful for that. Okay, so here's my tip for lining up whatever image you put on the inside, lining it up correctly. Now, if you were to, this was my example, go ahead and put your image right on the front and then you go to put it in your card to, and hope that it lines up you see how that is not perfect? Like, I don't like that. Um, so I had to figure out a different way and I got it. So you're gonna take the front of your card and flip it over. You're gonna fold this in. We've got several fold lines here, but the one you need is just the one that, the farthest one to the inside. And then you're gonna fold in this middle one, which is really what you're doing is making this front of your card meet this first score line. And go ahead and burnish that. We'll, we'll do the rest of the folding later. So. What you're doing is taking this one in and making sure this is along this fold line. Now, when you put this in, you're gonna center it between the two fold lines. You know what, I'm gonna have to fold this one, just this one closest, just so you can see it, because you can't see it on camera, so that you can line up your paper, line up your paper on the inside. Don't glue it, but um, line it up there like you're gonna, like you're gonna glue it, but you don't. Now you're gonna fold it on that middle score line so that this is lined up here and now hold this in place and now do your stamping. It's going to be perfect. All you need is one stamp to kind of hold your spot. So in this, in this set, we've got a moon that goes on the horizon or a full moon. For this card, we're gonna pick out this one and we're gonna do it in two colors. So I've got Daffodil Delight and then we're gonna put a little accent of pumpkin pie on there. So you're gonna ink this all up in Daffodil Delight and then grab yourself, I got paper on me, grab yourself a sponge dauber. These are 
these are super cheap little things. Um, comes in a pack of like five or something. And oh my gosh, they just add awesomeness to your thing. So I just dabbed it on there just to add a little color. I'm going to move these out of the way because I don't trust myself. Oh no, I got it on me. Oh, hold please. All right. I feel like I might've bumped myself here. I just need to double check. Okay. That's still in the center there. Okay. Now you're going to take this and you are going to stamp it right in the middle or wherever you want. Maybe you don't want it in the middle. Now that's holding my spot. I can pull this out and do the rest of my stamping. Now, I gotta say, that image does not look awesome. And you know why? <laughs> um, because I just stamped right on this hard surface. With these um, photopolymer stamps, which are the clear ones, there is no cush. There is no cush at all. So a lot of times you'll stamp an image and you're like, that does not look amazing. Um, so get yourself one of these stamp and pierce mats. It's a dense foam. These are like five or six bucks. It's totally worth every penny. And I'm wishing I would have done that for this one. Let's. Let's do this, finish it, and if it looks bad, I'll just redo it. So now we're gonna take Balmy Blue, which is the color of our card base for the water, but I'm gonna add a little accent of green. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna ink this up in my, the, ink it up in the color that you want the most of first, and then take your accent color and add that, just wherever. And now I'm gonna line up this horizon on that moon let's hopefully i did it right there isn't that a much better image oh that looks so much better i'm just gonna have you compare it with the one i did before um on the stamp and pierce mat there's just deeper colors but you know i think it'll be fine we'll leave it now grab one of these images to be a silhouette we've got two dolphins one dolphin and a sailboat I'm gonna do the dolphins because they're super cute and I'm gonna have them jumping out of the water like over the moon like that. Where did that come from? I didn't even, I, I, oh darn. Oh well, I think, I think it'll be covered up. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that I was like gone and this happened. All right, now grab the little banner and let's throw a happy birthday on there or pick whatever whatever you want to be on the front of your card. Um, so one tip for this is line up your stamp on your stamp block and then test yourself beforehand to see if it's gonna be straight, which that's not totally straight. So I'm gonna correct myself and there we go. And now where my juices are flowing and I got it, now I'm gonna stamp it on my pretty thing like that. Now grab the paper for the back of your card and let's just do a really simple design on the back of the card. Let's throw a cloud on there, another greeting, and maybe just one little dolphin because these are just adorable. Where do you put it though? Right here? Right there? Oh, right here. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get this thing going. We're going to just put some glue. This is the, the focal point, but it's the inside of the card um, and put that right in the middle let's test it again looks gorgeous i like to take my bone folder to smooth out um, when i'm putting like full sheets on there okay now don't get don't get overwhelmed but you're going to accordion fold all of these all these score lines can you see them we're just going to fold them back and forth back and forth but it should be very apparent what is the front of the card because we have it glued in there so just fold it back and forth, use your bone folder, and now you're gonna have a nice little strip here. This one, remember we fold in, I'm gonna fold back. And then of course we need to fold this so we got the front of our card, that's it. So all you need is to put some glue here. And then I found it easiest, do you see where that center fold is? Is to have that come and meet over here. So, so actually it's not folded correctly right now, but it's gonna make it way easier to glue. So just put a thin line, thin line of glue here, hold this down and then just fold this close. And it's gonna then just kind of double check that everything meets up correctly. And then you got it. And then just press it in place. I just rub my finger over it a couple times just to make double, double shirt. So now all you're gonna have to do is poke this in. We want these to match. So we're just gonna poke that in like that. So this is how it folds in the envelope, right? Isn't that awesome? And then it stands up on the desk. I wish I could show you guys how that stands up, but <laughs> trust me, it looks super cool. That was not evenly 
evenly stood up. There we go. Now it's gonna look good. Oh no, I'm being too, I'm being too rough. Okay. Now just gotta throw this on and throw the back on and we got it. Don't you love how those banners layer? They layer up to make such a nice bold greeting. Now you can glue that directly on there, but of course I am gonna pop it up with dimensionals because this is a shadow box card and these give even more shadow, this um, Stampin' Dimensionals. So you wanna be aware of where you're gonna put these because you don't want them, um, you don't want them overflowing over here because it's gonna glue your thing shut. But I feel like I need, I feel like I didn't do a good job placing those. Let me maybe go like this. Is that gonna, ah, uh, yeah, that is going to overflow. Ratatouille. Okay, let me take this off. All right, I think those three will be just fine. Like that, and now kind of squish your card close and then put this in place. There we go, it looks so awesome. Flip it over, let's glue this on the back. Okay, so this is the set we made. Isn't that amazing? Then I wanted to make one in more like pinks and purples. And I think, I think this works. I think that works. It's a little weird to have purple clouds, but I think it looks cool. And for this one, I just really wanted like a manly man one. I made the moon small, the window smaller because I just wanted that moon to look really big. And then I did, um, I don't know if you can see the um, water on the outside and then a little uh, sailboat there. Oh, oh, I know, I wanted to show you. You see how this water, it is either narrow or uh, long, and really you're supposed to do it this way with the horizon all the way across, which looks really cool. But for this one, I really, I liked it narrow um, with the dolphins. So anyway, you can mess around which whichever way you want that to go. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah. Oh, have fun with these. I release a new card making video every Thursday and then Friday morning I email out the project sheet uh, for that project and it's free. But after that it goes to my tutorial store so if you missed any you can pick them up there. Um, if you'd like to get on my email list there's a link in the description of this video where you can sign up. Now the first Thursday of every month I've got my free card template class where I um, teach you how to make card templates give you all the measurements. You can add these to your collection. They're just an awesome tool for card making um, just to give you ideas how to use a lot of the products that you already have. So I hope you join that me for that right here on my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.